Hi guys, my name is Perla, and today I will be doing my first sketchbook tour. This isn't the first sketchbook I've ever completed, I have a couple more, but this is the first one I, I guess I feel confident in sharing to the public. So let's get started. Um, so with this, this I think I paid like $5, and I got it at Michael's. It's called an Artist Loft Sketchbook, 75 pounds or 110 grams per meter square. It's five by, more or less five by eight, and it has 110 sheets. And yeah, five dollars. Um, so I started this in July of 2018, and I finished it yesterday on April 13th. So recently, I've been getting into stickers again, and I bought some stickers from different conventions to put on the blank cover. Like these uh, Idolish Seven stickers are made by Mochidon Store. And this one on the back is by Shia Lazier Art. So feel free to check them out. And yeah, this is where I normally put my personal information, like my name and my email address, where people can contact me if for some reason I lose my sketchbook. And then this is the date I started, August 11th. So usually with the sketchbooks that I have, I get pretty intimidated by the first page. So what I end up doing is writing any goals that I might have that I want to accomplish in my sketchbooks. And I've been using the same goals for the past three or four sketchbooks, some that I'm still working on. I know for this sketchbook, for sure, I've done a lot more pen and ink and poses and figure drawings. So I, in a sense, I've accomplished that goal. There's some other things I didn't get to really do as much, but you know, I, I try my best. Okay, and this page is blank because it, it just is. Okay, so here is the first drawing that I've done. And this is just a figure pose study from Pinterest. Actually, pretty much most of any studies that I do, I, I gather images from Pinterest and I save them in a folder called reference. And then whenever I just want to practice this particular pose, I'll just grab a picture and I'll start drawing. Same here, I kind of, you know, did more weird, not weird, but practice drawing more dynamic poses. And these two faces are from a tutorial that kind of focused on the angle of a head. So I can do different angles of head, draw, head shots instead of just, you know, the typical three quarters to the left. This one is kind of three quarters to the left, but he's looking, he's looking at a different angle. And then this is an ink drawing of a voice actor by the name Taniyama Kisho. He is the lead singer of one of my favorite bands called Grand Rodeo. And yeah, I just, I just felt like drawing him. And I was also practicing with the brush marker. I think it was a Pentel brush pen. And you can kind of see it ended up being a little bit drier than usual. I think I was running out of ink, so it just kind of had this dry brush effect. Okay, these are some it's, I used uh, pictures from Pinterest as reference for the poses, but then I kind of changed the character, the person's head, like the hair and the eyes. And I used ballpoint pen for this. One thing I kind of discovered while doing these sketches, or while drawing in the sketchbook with ballpoint pen, is that I really love sketching with ballpoint pen. Probably now even more than pencil. I like pencil, but I wanted to kind of get a step away from my comfort zone from always erasing things and just do more ink drawings. I say that and then this next drawing is pencil. And so are these. <laughs> so I kind of flip back and forth. Okay, this one, I think I originally drew it in pencil and then I lined it with um, a, not a brush pen. Maybe it was a brush pen, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to use different colors here. And these are some hand studies because I am really terrible at hands and I do not like drawing hands. This I used a really thin, I think it was 0.25 or 0.35 um, pen. And uh, I kind of actually liked how these turned out. And these are in pencil. Okay, this is a portrait study. I was using the um, Prismacolor Coley Erase pencils because I wanted to add a little bit more color in my sketchbook. Okay, 
And these next few pages, they're not my drawings. I, I volunteered at a convention and there was some Japanese guests that were doing autographs and they, I, the only thing I really had was my sketchbook. So they signed my sketchbook. Okay, this was, um, so here I actually did try out to see how my color pencil, uh, my, not my color pencils, but my principal color coal erase. I wanted to see how they would look on the pages of the sketchbook, so I did a palette here. More autographs. This is by Terumani. She, she drew one of the penguins from Mawuru Penguin Drum. And then again, more kind of portrait studies and color with the Coley Wraith pencils. This is a cat. I drew it upside down. Here, I, I think I got, this is about the time I got the, um, oh, the Posca paint pens. Sorry, I was, I have the supplies right here in the corner. I was looking for the name. So I got the Posca paint pens and I was testing them out on here as well. And uh, these also these Millennium Zik pens that I t tried out here. Okay, so this, um, I was using a reference, a photo as a reference for the pose. But this is one of my original characters. Her name is Renee Lafleur. And I'll do that from time to time. I'll practice poses with pictures from Pinterest and then I'll kind of change it a little bit. Like the head, you know, the hair and stuff. So from, so they look like my OC. Okay, these were some eye studies. Um, I was looking at a video by Cynix Design. I think it's called, it's called Anatomy Quick Tips Eyes. And I was just looking to see, you know, different ways to draw eyes. And I was practicing with the pen. And then this is a, also by Cynix Design, but the, the nose tutorial. So I was trying to kind of get a general idea of how to draw more realistic noses and then from there stylize them. This was a drawing of my cat, who's no longer with me. Um, but I, this is from a photo that I took and I was practicing with the Posca paint pens. And I kind of like how it turned out. And then this was a portrait study in charcoal. Um, I really don't like charcoal. <laughs> I like how it looks when other people do it, but when I use it, I just, it smears too much for me and it just, I don't know. I'll keep practicing, but. I really don't like charcoal that much. I even covered this with some sticky notes so it wouldn't smear onto this page. And yeah, that was just a first day drawing of a character. And these are some of my other OCs. His name is Taeyong and this is Kenji. They're from a novel that I'm currently working on that I want to make into a webcomic. And I just wanted to practice some cross hatching here. Some more pose portrait studies. This is um, another OC. So I started with ballpoint pen. Kind of scared to show, but yeah, that didn't look, turn out so well. So, you know. Just put a sticky note and try it again. <laughs> and here's a birthday drawing of another character. His name is B. And I, since I use Copics, it bleed through, but I really don't care if it does or not because I ha this sketchbook has a lot of pages. And then another portrait study in pencil, and then I decided to add a little bit of color with the Posca pens here. And here's a little animal study of a small fluffy dog. It's kind of hard to see the outline because he's white. And then here's a little French Bulldog. Um, this was an attempt to draw my room from memory. So where I live, we actually, we got flooded by Harvey. So we had to completely move. And when we moved into our new place, I didn't really have a bed. <laughs> I was using an air mattress. I had the desk where I'm cur currently sitting at and just some boxes and the closet here. 
I should probably recreate this and draw what my, uh, what my current room looks like just to see what the change, what kind of changes happened. But yeah. Some more hand studies. Now I was trying to add some contour lines as well because I think it helps me when I draw hands because just doing the lines, sometimes they feel kind of flat. I mean, they are flat technically, but I wanted to add more shading, so I did these contour lines. I like this one because foreshortening is really hard for me to do, and I actually liked how that one turned out. Okay, this was done with Posca pens. I like the colors. Some more animal studies. I drew some wolves because they they're my favorite animals. I did the initial under sketch with um, a light blue, non photo blue mechanical pencil, and then I used a regular mechanical pencil on top. And these are some ballpoint sketches of my OC. She's actually the protagonist from my novel. Her name is Beatrice. And I drew, this is, I think, a younger version of her. So her hair's a little bit shorter. It's a little hard to see, but I was trying to do some, practicing some folds, at least the outlines. And then this is just some washi tape I cut out. And here's some more drawings of folds. Here too, another OC. This is just a portrait study. And here are some shoes, because I also need to practice drawing sneakers and shoes. And this was some, a little kind of background sketch of a street called California. I don't know. <laughs> Just a random picture I found online. Okay, and the, these, this spread here, I wanted to draw, draw my protagonist with different facial expressions. So that's what I did. I think I can still have some more varying expressions that I should practice, but that's all I have for now. These are some more original characters. Well, actually, this is LaFleur, just her hair is different. Here are some clouds and sort of some mountains with ballpoint pen. And here I was just testing out some new brush pens that I bought. And these are some drawings of pants and folds. I was playing with washi here. I wanted to do that. That thing people were doing online where they'll cut out the washi for the for texture it didn't quite turn out as well as I wanted it to and here are some ballpoint sketches of squids or cephalopods in general I really like the shape of them they're they're really interesting and these are some ballpoint pen sketches of cats like there's the again these are photos I I practice drawing up from Pinterest like there's a photo of this cat <laughs> that became liquid in this cup and then a cat with some glasses, fancy glasses and a cat taking the shape of its container. And here, some of these are, I use fountain pens. I wanted to try my fountain pens on this paper so I drew some trees, nature, and blueberries. Some more fruit. And this is with washi tape, as you can probably tell washi tape avocado. This was a sketch of a longhorn. It was in preparation for a gouache watercolor painting I did. It, the painting looked completely different from this, but I just wanted to practice drawing a longhorn. And then these are, these are two of my OCs. This is Kenji again, and then this is his twin sister, Haru. And 
These are some sketches of ears and hands. Just more anatomy practice. This was um, a tutorial on folds. And so I just kind of practiced drawing the images from that tutorial. And then I did the basic outline with the pink pen and then finished it up with ballpoint. It was actually a pretty helpful tutorial. It kind of showed me how different folds appear depending on how, depending on the angle of what something is bent. Like, you know, with shoulders, the material, it pulls away from the shoulder and the armpit. Here it tucks under. And how folds occur at the knee joint, like the creasing and stuff like that. It was really helpful when you look at that tutorial again. Okay, this page and this page. So I was trying to think of what I wanted to do for Inktober of 2018. So I decided to do drawings kind of inspired by some of my favorite songs. So I made a list of my favorite songs here. And then I randomized, I went online and I put the titles and the artists and then I randomized the list. And then this is kind of the result. So like on day one, I drew a drawing based off this song, day two, etc. And I don't think I have any of my Inktober drawings in here. They're in a different sketchbook because I wanted to draw them bigger. Maybe if anybody's interested, I'll draw, I'll show some, I'll either show a video or, you know, something of those Inktober drawings. This is sort of a background sketch of this bridge close to where I live. I was going to do an ink drawing of it, an ink painting, but that didn't happen. Some portraits. This was with a color pencil. Just some more portrait studies. This is around the time I saw Enter the Spider-Verse and I was gonna do a painting, a digital painting of Miles Morales, but I haven't gotten to do that. So I just did a sketch for now. And more hand studies because you can never have too many hand studies. And this is another original character drawing. His name is Antonio. He's the older brother of my protagonist. And then here, I was trying to get a feel of doing thumbnail sketches for backgrounds because I, I know I'm gonna have to draw backgrounds for my comic. And it's kind of intimidating because the setting is futuristic. So I really have to practice drawing buildings in general and just background and then from there kind of figure out how to make it my own. So it's kind of hard to see. They're, they're really very, very basic sketches. So there's not much detail, but this is like, these are hallways here. This is supposed to be an office, like it's a desk. Some more hallways. Yeah, yeah. I need to do more of these. I need to do more of everything, but especially backgrounds. Okay, so when Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, I had a lot of drawing ideas that I wanted to do and I wanted to start making stickers that I can sell online so I started doing some sketches sticker design sketches and these are sketches of the Wayfinder Trader so there's Aqua, Ventus, Terra and Benitas. I did actually make stickers of the first three not of Benitas not yet And these are some more ideas. This is for the main three, Sora, Riku, and Kairi. I use color pencil for this. Also wanted to do some original sticker ideas. So I was practicing drawing cats in different shapes, or different styles. And this character is from another original comic idea I want to work on. It's about a, 
Uh, the best way I can describe it is it's inspired by Agretzko, a Netflix series, and um, Skullface bookseller Hondasan. But it's about a, a cat who works in the library and kind of her experiences of, of working, not working, but of um, helping out patrons. I don't want to give too much detail <laughs> about it, but yeah, that's basically it. It's kind of inspired by those two shows I named. So this is kind of the, the main character. She's a tabby cat, I think. And I was drawing her in different styles to decide which style I wanted to go with. And here's a crow. An octopus. Her name's Rosa. And here's Andy. He's a squirrel. And Shelver. Here's one of the librarians. I don't have a name for her yet. <clears throat> and here's um, one of the part-time workers, Minji, who's a yeah, she's one of the part-timers, but she's also a college student. This is, yeah, some, I added some color with color pencil. Okay, so these are some of the sticker results I did. I, I was practicing on different paper, like this is the glossy paper, and then this is just the general white sticker paper. I wanted to see how it would turn out, and I ended up getting another paper, which I have yet to try. It's um, glossy white paper, so I'm gonna try printing these designs again to see how it turns out, and I'll probably end up going with that paper when I eventually sell stickers. Another original character drawing. Another one. <laughs> and another one. Yeah, these are just oh, more OC drawings. So here's Taeyong, and here's Will. I liked how this one turned out. Hopefully I can kind of continue that similar style with the other characters when I start my comic. Yeah, these are pencil sketches of some other, these are some of the antagonists in my story. And I added some highlighter for the background just so they could pop out a little bit more. These are just OC, more OC drawings. Um, here's more drawings of Aqua, Terra, wearing suits. I just wanted to practice drawing suits. And just some portrait studies here on the side. This here, I was practicing um, just to see other how other artists do their own style. So this is a study of uh, a portrait by Miori. And then this one is a study of Enki? A-N-Q-I. The painting is called Reverie. So they have, so there's our, these two are actually digital paintings originally. I just wanted to, you know, see how other artists do certain, uh, how their style works basically. Like her, with hers, with Miori's, I like the way the hair flowed, so I wanted to practice doing that. And then I like this particular pose of the characters that Enki did. Some more ballpoint pen. I was trying to do a background here with the Posca paint pens, um, but then the, the paper started feathering because I was putting too many layers of the paint, so I had to stop. <laughs> I should probably try watercolor paper with these pens. And these are some cat sketches. And here is a drawing for Sora's birthday. These are some ballpoint sketches of 
two of my favorite characters from one of my all-time favorite shows, Digimon Frontier. Actually, there's three of them. So there's uh, uh, Koji and Koichi, Koichi and Takuya. It was kind of uh, my own way to celebrate their the release of their Blu-ray, which I'm still waiting for. So this is when I started to do more poses, and this is just with Sharpie. I started with pencil and then I used Sharpie on top. I also use more of my fountain pens here, because they, it adds a little bit more color. And some clouds. I like that one. This is kind of a background practice. Okay. This video is running really long, so I'm just gonna <laughs> flip through the rest. Here's a drawing of Chia. Season 3 came out finally. <laughs> Okay, that's it. This is just a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions about this, whatever I showed, or any general questions about art in, in general, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks!